Oh, no. Oh, Taku. Hello and welcome back to our Diaz Family Horse Ranch series. Today we are going to be having a baby. Poppy has just had three foals and Sophia today is going to be having a baby of her own. She at the moment however has passed out. <laughs> Things have gone a little bit too much for her so she needs to get some rest. She is in her third and final trimester so this baby is going to be coming today. She's also overheating so I think why don't we go and grab one of the temperature dials, this little thermostat, and let's get Tobias to put the air conditioning on. Just notice this is broken so he can repair that. If you remember in the last episode we also hired a ranch hand as well just to help out a little bit but I do think that we need to, we can't keep three foals. <gasps> Poppy went too long without being able to eat? Veterinary protective sa- what? Oh no! Veterinary Protective Services have whisked Poppy away to safety. But I moved the thing, so it was. Well, oh no! Everybody else's hunger's okay. Now we have to keep one of her foals so that she lives on. Oh no! Can we train Ivy to eat? Ivy's too uncomfortable to eat. But then you can't even. You can't hand feed her yet. So can we go and bottle feed her? Tobias and Oakley just became friends. Oh no! I don't know what to do. I did not expect for Poppy to be taken away. I, I'm heartbroken. How? How doesn't Oakley have any other so feelings so about this? Weird. Like, how is he not sad that his horse got taken away? Do you think we can, like, re-adopt her? Hold on, I need to find this out. Like, is she gonna be a rescue horse now? Let's go and check the rescue horses. I need to know if she is available to rescue because I want to get her back. I was literally just talking about, you know, which of the foals we should keep because it's not a good idea to keep all three, especially when we do want to actually rescue horses. Wait, I've just realised she's not not gonna be here because her traits aren't difficult so she might be under the purchase horse <gasps> no she's not where is she oh i'm so sad you lot i'm so sorry i can't believe poppy got taken away i don't quite know which of the horses to keep now you've got ivy and rosie i never thought me i of all people would have a horse wait what is that we have not planted anything what is oh it's an apple tree how have i just got a random apple tree there i'm so confused Confused. I mean, I'm not complaining because we need apples, but I don't know how that is there. Okay, at least Willow's fun has gone up. Everything with him is excellent. But I can't help but feel so sad about Poppy. Also, before I forget, I was thinking and oh my god. Our parents have had two other kids. They really cannot cope without us being at home. So I was thinking, Sophia's grandmother was called Elena and her grandfather was called Louis or Louis. I'm wondering, depending on whether it's a boy or a girl, we only have space for one, luckily, in the house. Oh, wait, no, now we have space for two. Anyway, depending on what the baby is, we could maybe name them after Sophia's grandparents and then they'll grow up on the farm that their great-grandparents owned. And I thought that was just, oh, Oh, lovely. I thought that that would just be a really sweet idea. Why are you talking to my horse about death? Magnolia, have you got nothing better to do? Right, this apple tree is not in an ideal location. So let's pop it there. I think Tobias, can you direct Willow to practice the barrels for the moment? Everybody else is feeling happy. I really don't understand how Poppy ran away or how Poppy got taken away. I think I'm going to leave it down to you lot as to which of the two girls we keep. Do we keep Rose? Rosie, who, you know, is the spitting image of her mama. She's also backing away like her mum used to do as well. Oh my god, Poppy was iconic and now we've lost her. Or do we keep Ivy, who is also literally the spitting image of her mum? Let me know what you lot are thinking down in the comment section below. I do think that this house is going to be chaos with multiple horses. I know we are down to four, but I kind of just wanted to sort of keep Poppy, Willow, and then start rescuing horses 
horses or maybe keep one of them but i think as sad as it is we should perhaps go and sell oakley i feel like in the horsing world though correct me if i'm wrong because i'm not a horse girl i don't know a lot about horses this is what happens right you don't tend to i mean if, if you've got the room i guess you can keep and look after the horses but if your horse unexpectedly has three foals you then you know ship them off to a loving household you ship them off to a new home where you know that they're going to be well looked after well cared for so i think let's go ahead and sell oakley you will receive payment and this horse will leave the household okay is that it he's going he's gone or sold he's been sold and payment was received selling horses is a lucrative business where success is determined by caliber of the horses that are sold the horses simoleon value is determined by their skill level competition performance quality of care and age and if a horse has champion genes they will also sell for more simoleons okay so we are now just left with our final three so let me know whether you think we should keep ivy or rosie and then i think in the next episode depending on who you lot choose we will rescue our first horse i think we'll come to a decision between the two girlies first and then in the next episode we'll go and rescue a horse i'm not gonna lie i also kind of can't wait for sophia's pregnancy to be over because then we can get back properly training willow going out on canters and treks and, and really focusing on willow's skills willow at the moment is in an excellent mood so let's go give him some loves i think let's assign so that's assigned to rosie and let's assign this bed to ivy and we'll clean it and ask for ivy to come here and rosie to go in her bed rosie's got poor energy so you'd think that she would be ready to go to sleep but no and ivy's in an excellent mood i am just gonna move this i thought that i moved that earlier but wait i swear i moved that earlier why are we getting more apple trees wait why are they just cropping up outside the i mean like i say the more the merrier because the more apple trees we have the more nectar we can craft oh it's out of season i'm wondering does it have to be put inside undercover i'm hoping that they'll actually grow here willow just reached temperament level seven sims can now ask about dealing with sims with willow which will improve the sims charisma skill gain willow is even less likely to buck when being ridden amazing willow's doing so well i'm so proud of him still very sad about poppy though i'm also surprised that my sims don't have any sort of sentiment of like oh i didn't care well enough for my horse that it got taken away because you do get sentiments when kids are taken away so i don't understand why you wouldn't when horses are being taken away this is a nice cozy little setup with the fireplace i mean it is the middle of summer and the temperature is sunny and warm so i don't know why we've got that going but you know come on horsies why are you not sleeping why is there trash everywhere random trash just keeps showing up like in their beds we do have an outdoor bin don't we am i not able to drag that up at it in that one? Oh, there's stuff everywhere let me just clean this up for them do you know what i actually forgot about this milestone feature that came with growing together and this is so cute so i love life milestones of when we got a horse willow joined the family we witnessed the birth of a foal sophia was filled with joy when a foal was born we won our first horse competition there's so much cuteness but yeah i often do forget to look back on those milestones actually surely this baby has got to be popping soon i feel as though she has been pregnant for so long it literally feels like it's been a century her and poppy got pregnant at the same time so that kind of tells me that the horse's pregnancy is a a lot shorter we've woken up feeling very angry in an irritable mood swing and she's also missing horses sophia's a horse lover and boy could she use some horse love at the moment it's been far too long oh bless her i mean she was literally going out every single day on willow and doing all the love and care so since she got pregnant she's hired the ranch hand and they've been kind of doing everything but maybe once we like get into a bit of a swing maybe when the baby is a toddler we can start getting back into the swing of being a rancher and running the ranch oh. and sophia has just gone into labor okay so it is time to take her to the hospital willow all the horses are gathering around her maybe they sense that she's gone into labor yeah i wonder if they know that like things aren't right because animals do tend to have like good oh. senses don't they like don't cows lie down or something when there's rain or when there's thunder or something like that but i suppose it is now time Time to take these two over to the hospital and ready to have their first child and she is thinking about her grandmother as well maybe she senses that it's gonna be a girl that'd be really cute if it if it turned out to be a girl like the minute she's going to the hospital she's thinking of her 
grandmother thinking if it is a girl I'm gonna name the baby after my grandmother or something to do with my grandmother they do say that some women can sense like what their baby's gonna be a couple of my friends have like been able to do that within the first couple of weeks of finding out they were pregnant so you never know this baby oh is coming God. it is on the way what is it gonna be let me know your predictions down in the comment section below right now pause this video and let me know what gender you think it is gonna be and then edit your comment if you did get it right as well but i'm very intrigued to see what you lot think it is happening we're getting into the weird machine maybe i should have downloaded the realistic childbirth mod for this but to be fair that mod sometimes you are like dilating for 24 hours so i can't be bothered oh my lord all these juices are going everywhere jeez tobias is now in the room he's absolutely panicking <laughs> everything's gonna be okay i mean i would be panicking if my wife was in this weird machine as well oh it is a girl interesting so sophia literally predicted i mean in my mind she predicted because she was thinking of her grandmother right before she came into the hospital when she knew she was in labor okay so i love that okay this is really sweet her grandmother's name was elena so i think why don't we cut off the e and call her lena lena diaz i think that's a sweet notion and just a beautiful way to remember her grandmother and grow up her daughter on the farm that she like sophia herself kind of grew up on and that her grandparent used to run and own and cherish so lena diaz is our daughter's name and here she is oh <laughs> there she is little lena i think let's go ahead and get her home safe and sound and we need to sort out her bedroom as well because right now we've just got an empty bedroom this is the bedroom that i left empty ready for a child so let's design that for our new little lena the crib that has literally just come in that the game has automatically assigned fits in perfectly with her bedroom colors the green and the brown well done game love that for us she's also gonna need a little crib i never use this one because it's always quite like old-fashioned and never fits in with the theme or the style that i want to go for but it is perfect here so let's do that one we have like that sort of design in terms of a changing table yeah maybe this one okay we'll do the changing table there and then grab the bin to go at the side as well actually i think why don't we move the crib there and put little baba in the corner for now like that and then maybe can we get like a little shelving unit here maybe this shelf over the crib and then these styles of shelves over here and they can have like nappies lotions for the baby's bum and all those sorts of things wipes and there we go i'd say they're all quite nicely cluttered now we've got this cute little horse rug in the room let's do this little pony toy up here because they're gonna have to get used to having horses around a little rancher doll could be quite cute somewhere and then just different baby care bits up there let's do this sweet little cute critter basket i love this basket as well and then i feel like now we need a sweet little armchair okay maybe an armchair won't fit so let's do like a mushroom chair for now and i think we'll do it like that for now it doesn't have to be too detailed but i think that's quite cute oh we've got a whole load of stuff in the inv where did we get a bike from i honestly have no idea but may as well keep it so let's put it there for now and let's just sell all of these random books why don't we start off by changing lena's outfit to be something kind of animal related quack me up that's cute or pink whirly space buns cosmic rabbits let's do the rabbit outfit okay that is much cuter little rabbit baby okay let's go and start feeding she's a natural she's so cute let's have a look in game today at the purchase horse option and see if maybe since it is the next day if poppy has become available because i'm so sad that she's lost her little birthing buddy her and poppy became pregnant at the same time i'm so sorry you lot i thought they were all covered they had their hay their feeders so i kind of thought that everything would be fine but apparently not look at her though with her little baby giving it cuddles it sorry <laughs> giving lena cuddles and while she's feeding lena tobias is feeding either ivy or rosie i think that is but we are feeling very happy from a new baby no moment in a sim's life is more joyous than the birth of a child and the ranch life obviously does suit sophia 
But the ranch life never ends. So I am gonna, I know she's had a baby. But I am gonna get Sophia harvesting prairie grass and doing some jobs around the ranch. Tobias, you can go and get cracking down here. Let's purchase some grapes and let's craft some more grape nectar. His skill seems to be going up very slowly. He's still on skill one. None of our nectar is finally aged yet. It is all just normal. So there's not a lot we can do about that for now. But Sophia, having just birthed a child, is back here harvesting her prairie grass, back working on the ranch. She found a pineapple and horse manure. I think let's go and refill this feeder with prairie grass that she has in her inventory. Dad's calling. Oh, hey, sweetie, we're coming over to see the little one and help out however we can. Okay, that's sweet that my parents want to come and help out. Sterling has returned from... Wait a minute, have they brought all of their kids as well? No. Oh, no. Oh, this can't be good. We're having a stay over with mum, dad, and their two kids. Seriously, why couldn't you have left the kids at home? Or why couldn't you have just come for two days? Why are you staying for five whole days? Do you know what? Meet your grandchild. I get that, but then sort of leaves maybe the next day because this just won't do. Staying over with your two kids when I've got a newborn child will just not work, I'm afraid. It's just not going to do. I think to ease the stress of my parents coming over, let's go and take Willow out for a long old trek. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm so glad she didn't end up falling off then, but old habits never die hard. Willow's still trying to buck her off, but she's, she's too good now. She won't get backed off let's go for an intense ride oh no a child has arrived with a backpack now obviously because we haven't done horse riding for a while Sophia's at level seven but now that she's had her baby she's able to mount horses again so hopefully we can get that up as quick as can be and willow just reached endurance level six so he'll become less fatigued when using horse barrels and jumps he's now valued at 3.8k we need to get his jumping up we're working on the other things but i feel like i never get them to jump is Poppy still here? <gasps> Poppy's not even on our list anymore. Oh, that is so tragic. I'm so sorry, you lot. I can't believe this happened. But please do let me know in the comments, obviously, whether we should keep Ivy or Rosie. And whichever name is in the comments more, we'll go with. And if you see somebody that has commented either Ivy or Rosie and you agree with them, make sure to like their comment. So to show that you're in support of that name. Oh, we had a rain in the scenery. A beautiful ride across the landscape is just what Sophia needs. Needed. I think she's been wanting to do that for so long. And Willow's been for an intense ride, so he's a very hungry boy. So he's come home and is having some dinner. Rosie's feeling very uncomfortable from poor hunger. So can we please go and bottle? Oh, this is... Uh, this ranch is getting more chaotic. Um, and nobody seems to be helping. She's starving. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Rosie's very... Wait, see, this is what I find strange. I didn't get this notification about Poppy because everything was fine in the last episode. If not fed soon, she'll be taken away until she's trained to eat hay. She must be bottle fed or be nursed by a mare. We don't have a mare because it ran away. Well, it got taken away. There we go. Sophia's sorting Rosie out with a bottle of milk. Look at her mouth, the little tongue going as well, and the teethies. Look at Willow splish splashing in the water. But at least Rosie has now been fed and is hopefully feeling less uncomfortable and more comfy. That's Rosie. Her fun is poor as well. So let's tell a joke and talk to her. Oh, she wants to... Can Tobias not sort... Okay, Tobias is upstairs sorting Elena out. What's wrong with Ivy now as well? Ivy's energy is low. Let's get Sophia to come up here and sort her out. There we go. Mum is here now. Mum and Dad, you said that you were literally... I don't know why your child already has grey hair, but you said you were coming here to help out and you haven't really helped out. <laughs> What's going on in the background, you two? Once she gets Lena all happy and sorted, let's fix these horse barrels and let's practice with Willow. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's do some jumps, some evening jumps. I think I'm gonna, I can't, I'm, I just can't deal with these stayovers. We don't have a big enough space. They're not doing anything. It's kind of annoying me now, so. Hi parents, thanks for popping over. You didn't even look at my child, but thanks for making some grilled plantains. Are you ready, Willow? We are gonna go and practice some jumping but we're gonna do
do some intense training because this skill has got to go up, my love. Okay, there he goes. He's prepping for it. Let's do this. He's doing quite well, to be fair, actually. I was expecting for the pole to fall because he's not as skilled on the jumping. He's better with the barrels. But we want to end him in all of the competitions. We want to make him a master, like, horse, a master in the comps. So if that means intensely training, like, till the early hours of the morning and putting in those extra hours and work, then we've got to do what we've got to do. And Tobias, instead of gaming on the PC, playing Dungeons and Dragons or whatever this is, city something or other, let's go sort out your baby. Rosie's happy, Ivy's fine. Let's rock your child to sleep. Aww, Tobias is having some cuddle. He's got massive muscles. <laughs> I just noticed that now. Look at this whole man's muscles. <laughs> Love that for you. Okay, Ivy's very uncomfortable, so needs to be bottle fed. And these two are still practicing jumps. And surprisingly, it's going well. Well done, Willow. Keep going. You may as well, like, keep this up. Oh, I forgot that Sophia's got this nectar in her inventory. Let's go and put that down. Pop that into storage as well. And we'll put Elena's birth certificate in here. There we go. Now Ivy's feeling a little less uncomfortable. And all of her needs have been sorted out. Pick up this poo, please. Clean up the manure thanks Tobias I love this both Sophia and Willow are feeling confident from horse trading nothing's quite so rewarding as a successful horse training session oh my lord it is 12 in the morning it is midnight go get yourself some food Sophia and then head to bed and I think on that note we will finish this episode here but I hope that you enjoyed it let me know which of the foals you want to keep whether we keep Rosie or Ivy who's running around being chaotic let me know in the comments if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well and let's try and get us to a hundred thousand subscribers here on youtube that would be absolutely amazing and don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video take care look after yourselves and i will see you next time Taz out